Hi guys, it's Ellie from Happier Singapore. To celebrate the Singapore Heritage Festival this year, I've teamed up with the National Museum to bring you this fun and easy dragon boat craft activity. So get your crafting fingers ready and let's get started! This craft activity is inspired by the Dragon Boat Festival that falls on the 25th of June this year. It's a traditional holiday originating in China to commemorate the famous Chinese poet Qu Yuan. To make your Dragon Boat stationery holder, you'll just need your favorite coloring materials, scissors, straws, glue, a hole puncher, a recycled cotton bottle, white A4 paper, a piece of thick paper or cardboard sheet, and your Dragon Boat template. I will leave the link to where you can download and print your Dragon Boat template via the description box below. Without further ado, let's start colouring your Dragon Boat template. I will show you two different ways you can colour your dragon. The first is a simple way using regular coloured pencils. The second way is called one-stroke painting. You would have seen this technique used by Chinese rainbow calligraphers at Chinatown. This technique is often used to create colourful name art posters. Let's go on to colour a plain piece of A4 paper with the one-stroke technique. Set this aside to dry and let's go back to our Dragon Boat template. Apply glue on the back of your template, then paste a sheet of thick paper or cardboard over it. Now it's time to cut out our dragon head, tail and boat pedals. When you're done, let's cut open our cotton bottle. Remove the bottle cap to create an opening, then cut along the upper quarter of the cotton. Please be careful when you're cutting through the thicker corners, okay? Our painted paper should be dry by now, so let's go ahead to wrap our cotton to create the main body of our dragon boat. Create a fold line on the lower edge, glue the paper into the inner side of the cotton, then make a small cut at the corner so the edge folds in neatly. Repeat the same thing on the other edge. To wrap up the sides of our boat, fold both sides of paper inwards and press down to form a triangle flap. Glue down the top edges into the cotton, then secure the triangle flap upwards into the side of your boat. Now let's make our pedals. Go ahead to cut 4 straws in half. Then, punch a hole onto the tapered sides of your painted pedals. Let's assemble the pedals by sticking the straws through the punched holes. Position your pedals with equal distance from each other along the sides of your dragon boat. If you're happy with the layout, go ahead to punch in the holes on your boat. Now let's slot your pedals into position. Next, prepare your dragon head and tail in two parts. Fold about 1 inch towards the painted side, apply glue on the blank side of the fold, and attach your dragon head to the front of your boat. Repeat the same steps to attach the tail to the back of the boat. And there you have your super cool dragon boat stationery holder.